Right, well hello there guys, Medical School here with part 17 of our Sothraya campaign for Thrones of Britannia and we're going to pick things up where we left things last time but before I do anything else we're just going to hit end turn. Uh, now we're continuing our little booze cruise, uh, our boozy holiday across most of Ireland. We've been making some friends along the way and basically we haven't had a lot of resistance. There is an army coming towards us which is a little bit concerning. But other than that, we haven't really had any sort of issues. Ay, ay, ay. See, Uliade is really happy with us. We like Uliade. Uliade likes us. Gil Galil, unfortunately, is up here and they don't like us. And by the looks of it, they've got a lot of troops as well. Bugger. But we know what that means. Losing lots of territory. Right, okay. Uh, Fleets has found a new and unclaimed land in the north. Place of snow and ice, though it has fire in its heart. Your men name it Iceland, as perhaps a name like that will discourage others who may want to settle here and claim what little farmland is available. Settle here. Uh, I mean, that just makes us look awful as well, doesn't it? Dependable. Okay, right. Well... Let's be having you then. They will take peace. What about Argala? Dark business brings you to my door. They are a vassal of Aliak, so if we peace out of Aliak, they will go away as well. What about Desmunda? Speak honest and true. That is insulting. But what if we were to give them money? Or if we were to give them a lot of money, it's still insulting. Okay, so we'll stay at war with them. If you speak, Reneth, we could probably peace out with. Oh, we don't really need to peace out with them because you're so awful. Oh, Orkney is going to turn on us as well. Brilliant. Um. Okay, new plan. Take as much as we can, Bala. That will give us almost all of this section. You can rely on and we'll take Hakon's axes, get back to the sea, and sail this way. Our, um, we serve to the end. our cracking guards. Uh, we can't recruit because we're not in a settlement. Bugger. Uh, right, where are they going to go first? Guvain. Not possible. We haven't got defences anywhere. What a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Right, we'll bring this guy in. We'll grab... What have we actually got in the town? Some spears, some axes. Then what we need is bowmen. Bowmen and... Um, what are those? That'll be fine. Got two turns. That's all we've got in terms of replenishment. Two turns. Bugger. Uh, where are they going to go for? Arkadan, probably. So we need to make another army. Have him. Riders of the Bifrost. Wonderful. You can have a load of skirmishes and two units of Norse mailed Hesir. You've probably got longer. Mm. 
We're still going to have to come down towards Linz. I don't want to lose the food coming out of this town, but... We most of our army is awful. Now we'll see. So let's pull to there and encamp. Whilst we're here, we'll grab a couple more marauders. We will bring you glory. Oh, recruit anything, bugger. Oh, I forgot to peace out with that other faction. That's fine. Fine, we'll peace out with them in a moment. Just going to have to go up there and subdue our quarrelsome friends. Alright, noble birth, lovely. Oh, they are Gala. Our foes shall fall. Move up. Ready for battle. Which means that when we peace out with these guys over here, my warriors are ready. Garrison is garbage. That's fine because they can't get in anyway. All right, Hakon's axes need to literally go as quickly as you can up to Don Oliag. Can't recruit anything. I've got no money. Chances are we're going to go uh, negative soon as well. Okay. Uh, no, you don't need priest. You need a movement range. Movement range is good. Movement range is very good. England versus do it. You own a portion of Wales. Hmm. <laughs> oh, on a bridge, on a bridge. Please be on a bridge. <laughs> Never getting across. <laughs> Never gonna get across. Never gonna take that town. We're gonna turn around and axe you. Right, well, this army can go down. We can take our town back. That will give us some more money and some more food. Sorry for the little Rick roll. Sort of. It's just it's stuck in my head. So many Rick rolls. Uh, <laughs> and uh, once we get into the next turn, maybe take another town off of them. We'll try and peace out with that uh, other faction, which will take these guys out of the fight as well. It means that we can pretty much just turn around at that point and take on our wayward friends in the north. And we're just going to... I think what I'm going to do is just stop um, everyone coming straight over the bridge. There's going to be no reserves this time. Literally, it's going to be a case of... Just up as close as you can to that part of the bridge. And then archers can be over here somewhere. Yeah, shoot at us all you want. Oh, 
Okay. As soon as you're in position. I don't need to shoot everything, I just need to shoot the ones that are coming over the walls. Over the bridge, sorry. Commanders. Chosen by Odin. Shield wall! In on the Arik Horseman. Oh my days, this is wonderful news. Absolutely gorgeous. Us cars can push forward. Uh, 120 seconds. Yeah, that's fine. Rally! Fire at will. I'd rather have the armor piercing than the morale penalty. They're not getting through the bridge regardless. I mean, they are attempting to get round, but uh, they are just clipping off of the bridge and into the floor. Uh, which is, I suppose, how they normally get through and round. They're literally just falling off the side of the bridge. Let's have a look. What have we got? One kill, five kills. Not an awful lot. Oh, there's a 20... 25 in there somewhere. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright, start off by shooting at the horse, boys. On the plus side, if they're shooting at the archers, they're not shooting at the melee troops that are doing all of the damage at the minute. I wish you could burn bridges. I wish you could destroy the bridges and make them, like, come through the fjord. The ford. Us cows push forward. Have they? I thought I just saw a bunch of horsemen run away. There's only four of them left. What are you on about? Yeah, keep going. Keep it going. Keep shooting. Yeah, I know we are. But only the archers. Everyone else is doing fine. It's a wonderful day. Take out the javelins. Okay, so we're not doing too much damage to those javelins. That is fine. Right, they can fire all the way over there, so let's pull back. We have left a lot of our uh, Eastman archers on the floor. But on the plus side, at the moment, this is what the front line looks like. Them trying to push horses through and us twatting them in the faces, uh, smashing them in the faces with uh, axes. Whilst they run backwards and away. Steady everyone! Go and get those household raiders, my friends. Okay, push through. Okay, a lot of their men are now leaving. Oh, their, uh, their household riders are back. Such a good job you came, uh, Aliak. Such a good job.
Push forward. We are losing some troops, but like to put it this way, they've lost almost a thousand and we've lost maybe 300 ish less. If this was to be an open field battle now, we would win. Those axes moving over here. They're exhausted and they're routing. Cool. I mean, the battle's been in our favour since you gave us a bridge, mate. Let's let's not like muck about with it. Rally! I mean, most of them are tired or winded. There's a couple of exhausted, and there's some fresh, fresh troops. Is anyone actually still in? Right, you can come out of that. You come out of that. You come out of that. Both of you come out. All of you just charge forward now. Surge forwards. Units into the Gamma Glasses. Okay, we've lost 400 to their 1,400 ish. Almost ready for another rally. Right, any with ammo left, target the household riders. Just kill off their general if you can. Got five men left in his group. They've disappeared. Get rid of those Kern Spears. The front line has... Yeah, they are. The enemy general is dead. All of you, press in on them. Army loss and victory. Decisive victory! I wonder what happened there! Lost 419, killed 1429. They don't have an army left, they have some skirmishes. <laughs> that is it. So, uh, final kill scores uh, 108 and 95 for the Huskals. Um, 111, I think, is the highest score here. Yeah, that's with the General's unit. Good old Homkel. Uh, we are going to take the replenishment because we're going to need it. They're going to pull back. We should be able to um, pull some of our army away. Ah, we'll beat him. Fine. Settlement under siege. Uh, where was... Expedition is settled. We've got 100% income from farms, plus 3 influence for faction leader for the next 5 turns. No way. Uh, My warriors are so, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... See, they'll be ready to go in next turn. Don't really want to do that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come and take that army out. Quite aggressively just kill them there we go we will take the money please this army can go and take senas back occupado um right you you're a governor you've got all of that forager Kale, you are also a governor. You can go for scribe. 
Now, with the forces I've got around... Um, right, we'll have you. You need to be in the sea, and... Yeah, that's fine. How long before that falls? Four turns before it runs out of supplies. Enemy blood will flow. Okay. One, two, three. I'm not going to be there in time to stop it. But hopefully, they're not going to do any of that. There we go. An extra nine units, not at full strength, but we've also got the governor. That should be fine. Should be fine. And if we send this army, Hakon's Axes, back up this way, then between the two forces we can go and hit Dun Alit. Which is their only walled settlement. We can just continue to prosecute this war. We'll see this through. Hurry along. Alright, we're gonna come this way with the Yarl's War Band, even if they take the town back, which is unlikely. Um, they're not going to be able to do much with it. This army is going to come this way and he's going to be supported. We're ready. Might need to recover a smidge first, but, you know, can't have everything. Can't have everything. But we need to sort out what's going on in Ireland so we don't have a situation like Gal Gadel again. Oh, I thought they'd been attacked outside. My forces? I'm defending, aren't I? Okay. I mean, we should be all right. Fury of Tear. They can't have too many towers. So all it's going to be is focus fire all the flames towards one tower at a time until we get rid of the towers. Bloody hell, that's three towers. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. There's move there. Alright, first group and you're uh, all sorted out like that. Fine. We need all the axes, swords and stuff over here. And then javelins, you can be at the top of the hill waiting. Uh, barricades. I mean, we're probably not really going to use them. If they manage to get through, chances are we're stuffed anyway. Uh, so what about one there and one here? Archers. Uh, yes, we'll do that. Be sure to protect your general in combat. This loss would be keenly Take felt amongst his remaining troops. Man the defense! Okay, 50. 
next tower. Right, just open fire, see if you can take out that tower. Okay, they are. Our general is under attack. Attack. Moving forward. Move it, man. Up the pace, man. Haste on your sons. Commanders. Fire a volley. All of you just keep firing in. Those units there are fine. With speed, Ready. We it will be done. Up the pace, men. Battle orders. Ready for war. Quicken the pace. Break the axeman. And those two units just a long hit. Go and get rid of that cavalry for me. Those bloody scouts. Right, so here's what the plan is. Open fire, fire at will. If they come near us, as they're coming out of the tower, they're going to get shot at. Into the flanks. Like so. We need to make sure that we're the ones that own the town. They're trying to push through. It's not good. Alright, fire at the back. Units losing decisively. Fantastic. Alright, all four of those pull back. Allow a clear volley. Yes. Got them. Alright, pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh, bugger. No oh, good. Push them out. Okay, well, casualties have screwed us over over there, isn't it? Okay, so that section is now dealt with. 
It means we can bring those over here. Those guys over here. And what's left of all of this over here as well? Because this town is going to stay ours. They can't do anything now. They've lost their tower. Their tower privileges have been revoked. And this is about to become ours again. So, boiling oil. Yes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Where's my oil? Where's the oil? Why have we not got oil coming down? I mean, I think, to be honest, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bit out and we'll just rejoin each other right near the end. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, so welcome back. Obviously, you've seen that uh, we've done that. What I did is I pulled everyone round so that they would uh, encircle them, pulled the spears out, and then as the enemy came up, just encircled them on three sides, causing their morale to break. Uh, and then they ran straight out through hails of arrows and, by the looks of it, quite a bit of burning oil. So, uh, yes, heroic victory for me. They've got not an awful lot of men left. They've got 218, which means in theory... Sorry. Which means in theory, we should be able to chase them away with what we've got left in this army. And destroy them and then go in to take one of their towns. In theory. Uh, we are going to replenish the... Replenish our units up. Uh, well, we're not going to win that, are we? Try aggressively. Kill as many as possible. It's fine. We've lost that city. Oh no, we haven't lost it. They just sacked it. What in the hell? Why wouldn't you take it, you absolute idiots? <laughs> Ooh, Desmunda is getting big and powerful and strong. Uh, plus two to command. Melee skill. No, okay. Oral dear. Okay. Declare your authority. I can't pay him, so I'll declare authority. That's fine. Gonna go and destroy that army. Destruction. And we'll just take the money. Right, okay, so that is where we're going to wrap up the part then, guys. I hope you have all enjoyed. If you have, then don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Go and check out my Twitch for all of my live streams, my social media, my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Discord for all of my update schedules and all of that kind of stuff. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, then don't forget to check out the videos that should be appearing on your screen around about now. And until next time, guys, bye for now.